I'm Anil Kumar. Here's a very interesting question on rate of work done. Question number four. Jim earns $10 per hour and takes two hours to deliver 500 handbills. Kim earns $8.50 per hour and takes three hours to deliver 500 handbills. How long will they take to deliver 500 handbills if they work together? That's part A. And part B is how much will they earn working together, right? Working alone, you know, so many dollars per hour times two. So $20 for Jim for delivery of 500 and for Kim it is 8.50 times three, right? So more than around 25 something, right? 25.50 for Kim working alone. The question is when they work together, how much do they earn? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my video. Now the question here is, how long will they take to deliver 500 handbills, right? So handbills if they work together. So the job is to deliver all these handbills. Perfect, complete job. For it, we know the equation is x over one variable, in this case, Jim J plus x over the other guy who is Kim, we say k, the whole job is equals to 1. So this is the standard equation which we have come with as discussed in previous three examples, right? Where j is the rate at which Jim works, k is the rate at which Kim works, right? So what is j? j takes 2 hours to deliver. So in this equation, j is two hours, right? Two hours to do the whole job, is that okay? And Kim earns this much, however, he takes three hours, it's the time, so Kim is three hours to do the whole job, that's Kim. And what is X? X, we are defining a new variable. How long will they take to deliver? X is expected time. working together correct so the concept is in x hours jim can deliver x over 2 right so jim can deliver x over 2 in x hours kim can deliver x over 3 is it okay and total job is done therefore equals to 1 so we can find x from here common denominator is 6 right so we get 3x plus 2x equals to 1 or we get 5x equals to 6 and that gives you the value of x. So from here we find that x is equals to 6 over 5 hours, right? 6 over 5 hours, uh, which is, which is, let's do this, okay. So one hour, one fifth, right? Which is one whole, one fifth of an hour. That's better, right? So that is the time which they are going to take. So, so the answer will be, time taken will be uh, one hour, one fifth of 60. You can say, I mean, let's do it. So 60 divided by five, okay. oh, sorry. Uh, 60 divided by 5 so that is in minutes 12 minutes is it okay so it gives you 1 hour and 12 minutes that's the total time they are going to take so this is part A part B is how much will they earn working together so they will earn based on their rate which is for Jim The time is 6 over 5 times 10, so we'll do 10 times 6 over 5, that is $12, is it okay? As far as Kim is concerned, his rate is 8.5, so 8.5 times 6 over 5, let's use calculator, okay. So 8.5 times 6 divided by 5 equals to $1.10 and 20 cents, is it okay? So that is their earning when they work together, since both of them together can complete the job in one hour and 12 minutes. Perfect. 
So that is how you could do this type of question. Now, the trick part here is we have given you a lot of numbers to work with. So you should know exactly where to fit in what to get the right answer, correct? So when you're looking at it, look for time first, time. So the time numbers are these numbers. Do you see the time numbers? And how long, how long we say X, is it okay? So this is all time, do you see that equation? All time. And then look into the cost, which is this. And that is this part. Do you see the cost now involved? So separate your variables so that you could easily do this kind of question. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.